Hi everyone, it's Sydney. Happy holidays from We See Hope. Um, I'm here to read another fun um, holiday and winter inspired story. Um, I'm wearing another festive headband um, with their brown reindeer antlers and some fuzz and a little mistletoe. I'm very excited um, and today I'm gonna be reading The Snowman by Raymond Briggs. Hooray! It is snowing. Here we see a little boy and he's pulling back some yellow curtains to look out of maybe his bedroom window and he's wearing blue and white striped pajamas and he has red hair and he has one arm up in the air looking at all of the wonderful snow falling outside. James gets dressed. And in this picture, um, James is getting ready to go outside. He has taken his pajamas off and they're in piles on the ground. And he has, he now has a dark red or burgundy sweater on and he's pulling on some blue jean pants um, so he can be nice and warm when he goes outside. He runs outside and now James is running so fast to get outside he's so excited that his hat has flown off of his head and he has some knee-high gray rain boots on so he can go outside in the snow and not get too wet and he has a smile on his face he's very excited running out into the snow he makes a pile of snow and here James has his shovel and he's making a pile. Um, he has some gloves on now that match his sweater and the pile is up to his waist, the pile of snow. He makes it bigger and bigger. So in the first picture, James ha is now using his hands to pile up the snow and it's snowing all around him. He has his shovel um, in the ground behind him and the pile is now up to his chest. And a little bit later, James has gotten the pile all the way up to taller than him, which is super, super high. He puts a big snowball on top. Now, James has to step on a step stool to get up to the top of this pile that he made. And now that he's put a pile of, a big pile of snow on the top, it kind of is starting to take shape as a person, maybe. He adds a scarf and a hat. We can't even see James because the pile is so big, but we can see his little hands putting a green hat on top of the pile of snow, and a green scarf that matches the hat is tied around, um, tied under where the ball of snow is, um, so it looks almost like a person wearing a hat and scarf, but made out of snow. He adds an orange for a nose. Here, James is reaching as high as he can and putting an orange or like a yummy fruit on the his pile of snow's face for a nose. He adds coal for eyes and buttons. And now it's starting to look more like a snowman with two pieces of coal for eyes and three pieces of coal going down the pile. So it looks like um, they're in one line and James is putting them on. There, what a fine snowman. Now the pile has completely taken shape and James is standing in front of it with his arms, with his hands on his hips and looking very proud at the snowman he made. Um, the snowman, it looks like James made some arms and made some indentations for the legs. And so now it really looks like a big and tall snowman that James has made. It is nighttime. James sneaks downstairs. 
And so now James is in his blue and white pajamas again and a little red robe and he's sneaking down the stairs ever so quietly trying to be quiet. It's dark out and he's going down the stairs of his house. Um, he looks sneaky and he's trying to be very quiet. He looks out the door and here we have James in his outfit with his slippers on and his blue and white striped pajamas his red robe and he's peeking out of the curtains to look out the window into his snowy backyard. What does he see? The snowman is moving! James has now opened his back door and it's a green door with a silver handle and he has a little smile on his face because the snowman that he made earlier is moving and has taken the hat off of his head. Um, he's holding it up in the air to say a little hello to James. Um, and I don't think James can believe it. James invites him in. James holds the door open for the snowman and the snowman um, is walking through the green door frame into James' house. The snowman has never been inside a house. The snowman now has taken his hat off and he has his hand on his chin looking a little puzzled because he's never seen anything like this before. And James is standing right next to him, smiling, excited um, that he came in the house with him. Hello, cat. Hello, lamp. Snowman, still with his hat in his hand, is petting a black cat that is sleeping on the floor. Uh, maybe the snowman has never seen a cat before. Um, and then he is touching the lamp that's on one of the tables in James' house. And the lamp, it has a red um, cover with some yellow um, fringe dangling off of it. Um, and it's lit up. Hello, paper towels. So now James and the snowman are in the kitchen, um, and he's so silly, he is just pulling all of the paper towels off of the roll, and James is running at him to try and get him to stop. Um, the cat looks so worried and is jumping in the air um, because of all of the ruckus and mess the snowman is making. The snowman takes James's hand. And here's the snowman and James are running out of James's house door. He puts his hat back on and it's snowing outside. Um, and they're both running um, into the backyard. They go up, up, up into the air. James and the snowman are holding hands. And the snowman almost looks like Superman with one arm in the air. Um, and the other one holding James's, and they're in the sky. Um, and James just has his pajamas and his robe and his slippers on, um, but they're both um, smiling and excited that they're flying. They are flying! So now, James and the snowman are so high in the air that James's house, um, which is like brown with some green windows and a green door um, and, his, and a little uh, maybe garage or shed next to it with like snowy roofs. Um, it's getting smaller and smaller in the background and now all we can see is just a snowy forest and the snowman and James flying through the night sky. And here they are flying maybe closer to the town that James lives near. And again, this uh, snowman has his arm out and they're flying um, in the night sky. It's snowing. Uh, we can see the moon um, in the background and some lights maybe from the town um, and just a lot of houses and buildings that they're flying towards. What a wonderful night. And now James is hugging the snowman. He's on his very tiptoes because the snowman is so tall. Um, they're back at James's house. Um, and I think it's time for James and the snowman to say goodbye. 
It is morning. James jumps out of bed. And here's James in his blue and white striped pajamas, um, jumping out of bed. He even knocked his teddy bear on the ground, um, and he has a little clock on his nightstand. And he is looking, running towards the window. We can see the sun rising um, because it is morning. He runs downstairs. There's James, and instead of tiptoeing down the stairs this time, he is running with his rope, put his robe on and his slippers. He's going as fast as he can. He runs into the kitchen, and now James is running past his parents who are sitting at the breakfast table. His mom is wearing a brown robe, eating some eggs, and across from his dad, who is in a green sweater, maybe getting ready for work, and he's running past them so he can get outside. He runs outside, and now we only see James is back as he's sprinting out the green door again to his backyard where it's still snowy to check on his snowman. But the snowman has gone. And now James is standing over just a small little pile of clumpy snow and some coal and a hat and a scarf. The snowman maybe melted overnight after their adventure um, and James is standing and looking at him. The end.